kiss you with them. Kiss you cookie. Kiss you co quiet. Cup in this case. I'm your host, Kenshuke Teshmiat, also known as Peter Not So White. I hope uh, I hope you've had a an amazing week so far, and I hope you had a, an amazing week since you tuned in last week for our previous episode, and I hope that that talk on the thirds has allowed you to see life in a longer scope. And today I kind of want to talk about a topic that I think most people can resonate with. You know, well, everyone can because, you know, everyone in this world wants a relationship. You know, everything is about relationships, friendships, you know, companionships, you know, workplace, you know, ships, (laughs) any ship that sails. And um, I heard this amazing story. And, you know, before I get into the story, I kind of want to talk about um, how I use to look at uh, at relationships, and it, it's kind of a thing that some people still do to this day, you know. And and it's and it's just it's how it's portrayed through Hollywood. It's how it's portrayed through the movies, and um, you know, I hear I hear all the time like people talking, and and you'll see, you'll hear people talking about oh. You know, here's my better half, you know, as they're talking, they're implying their partner, you know, here's my better half. I know they're my better half. And they joke about it, jokingly. And, um, you know, that, that kind of insinuates that you're not whole, you know, you're, you're not a whole person. And when we, when we start to realize that, you know, it's almost like being codependent on someone else you know it's like it's like if you're a chair you have to rely on those other legs to keep you up or else you'll fall over right and uh that's that's not a that's not a healthy way of looking at a relationship you know you should go into a relationship complete or at least you know on that path to being complete and i haven't talked about relationships this season yet i talked about relationships last season and you know um the relationship that kind of pushed me to look at my own faults was at the very beginning of the the pandemic in uh, 2020 like literally the relation a lot of relationships ended in the pandemic at the very beginning of the pandemic and my my, uh, relationship was the same way and for a while there you know I was kind of just playing it off and I wasn't really looking at the the main thing that had came up in a couple of previous relationships prior to that one as well. And there was a certain situation on my end that I had to look at. But, you know, I, I kept brushing that off and, you know, like people, you know, most people are like, oh, that's my better half. You know, not coming into a relationship, healing are healed and you know you'll keep repeating the same thing over and over until you learn from it and it happened to me before it happened again and then it happened again so i was like okay it's you know it's, it's enough is enough i need to sit down and take a look at myself 
instead of pointing fingers how about i point a thumb you know everyone's so quick to point fingers you know when things happen instead of pointing a thumb at themselves and taking a step back and looking at what they could have done in that situation to help prevent it or to have a better outcome of it and uh mine was i had abandonment issues you know and i was coming into a relationship not full i was looking for a missing piece and that's what this podcast you know the story i heard was this this shape so there was this world full of shapes and there was this this triangle and this triangle set off out into the world looking for a piece to complete it you know to to make it be able to maneuver in life you know being a triangle you know you have three sides and you have pointy sides right so being a triangle maneuvering through the world was hard it wasn't easy there was a lot of resistance and it was just it was it was navigating it was trying to push you know and and then all of a sudden out of nowhere is it runs into the circle you know as it as it's been looking its whole life for a missing piece to to be able to complete it so it it can maneuver through life you know i was thinking that it could the triangle could fit into another piece in this world so together they could maneuver through life easier but that wasn't the case because the triangle um ran into the circle and they got to talking and they hit it off pretty good and the circle was like, you know, why don't you just roll with me until you find whatever you think you're missing? And the triangle was like, well, you know, you're a circle and it's a lot easier for you to roll. So, you know, it's going to take me some time. But the circle was willing to, you know, slow down to allow the triangle to start rolling so the triangle starts pushing and it, and it flips over eventually to the other side and then the same thing it keeps pushing and it flips over and it just keeps pushing and pushing and, and it starts to get a little bit easier because the, the triangle gets stronger and you know it keeps pushing and it keeps flipping and it keeps flipping over and eventually it, the, the edges they start to smooth out. They start to round out a little bit. So it gets a little bit easier. And the triangle gets stronger. And it keeps pushing and, and flipping. And initially, you know, the, the triangle starts to round all of its edges off. And till it becomes a circle. that that triangle had that circle in it the whole time it was it was in within itself but it was looking for external events external things to happen for it but deep down inside, it was a circle already. It just didn't know it. And when we go into relationships, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're searching for, you need to understand that that's already in you. It's already within you. So you You know, you need to bring your your full self into a relationship. Just like that, 
that triangle did, you know, and it pushed through and it wasn't easy and it started to get stronger and it started to round itself out. That's the same thing with you. You may not be 100% healed. You may not be, you know, whatever you're going through in life, growing through. You may not be 100% yet. But if you think that an external event is going to change your your view on relationships, it's not. You know, you need to start putting the work in to figure out, you know, why why hasn't your, your previous relationships worked out? You know, why do you keep attracting the same type of person? Because haven't you ever noticed that when when you meet one person and then you start, you know, get to know them, but they turn out to be like the last person, just in a different form. And the same thing, you know, you, you keep moving on. So you, you end up that relationship, you end that, and then you move on to someone else. And the same thing happens. You know, they're, they're the same person, but just in a different person. You need to look within yourself and ask yourself, why does this, why does this situation keep coming up? Start pushing yourself to start rounding off your edges, to start, you know, becoming that circle. Because it is, in, it is within you somewhere. And, you know, you may not be able to see it yet. But if you keep doing the work, you keep healing, you, you seek out a counselor, you know, you read books on relationships. One book that I just finished recently was the, the Eight Rules of Love by Jay Shetty. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal book. There was a lot of really good information in there. And a book I read last year really, you know, allowed me to, to understand what I need when I go into relationships. And that, that book is called The Five Love Languages. So if you, I, I highly recommend, you know, if you're having problems with relationships, or, you know, yeah, if you're having problems with relationships, I, I recommend that you, you take the time to either read these books or listen to them in audio form because they, they will really change your life. And uh, I... I can't stress that when you invest into yourself, it pays the most profit moving forward. It does. So I challenge you, if you're struggling with this, this topic in this area, take some time to figure out you know, what do you want from a relationship? That's, that's, that's the number one thing. And also, check out those books. Because they will be able for you to find out what you need for that self-love. Because we all do have love languages. You know, we receive love in... <clears throat> In certain forms you know we let me rephrase that we appreciate receiving love in certain forms more than the other you know some people appreciate materialistic things some people appreciate quality time some people appreciate it when you when you pay attention to them you know, there's, there's different types of, of love languages out there. And you may 
not even know what your love language is, what, what your love language is. So your partner's trying to, to love you and you don't know how to communicate to yourself on what you think love is. And most times, you know, you, our love languages are, are shaped and formed by our childhood, by how our, our parents, you know, what they did or didn't do for us. And that's how our love languages most of the time are shaped and formed. So I challenge you to look within yourself. If you feel like there's a missing piece from you, it's already there. So with that, I'm going to end this podcast. I will see you next Wednesday. Sukuni, Dagas, take care. And remember, everything always happens for the right reasons. Take care, all my warriors.